So welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be talking about the Business Intelligence Extended Star Schema. Um, it's going to be a series of videos which I'm going to be explaining basically what I know about business intelligence. I have actually found it hard to find any information about SAP Business Intelligence. So I decided to actually you know, put up a series of videos where I will explain what I know, explain what I found out, and also help you to be able to get more information about SAP Business Intelligence. So let's get started. So today I would like to discuss the Business Intelligence Extended Star Schema. This is mainly to give you an overview of how the data warehouse is structured from a BI point of view and also from an analysis point of view. And also to make you understand the differences between the structure of a traditional transaction database architecture and one used for OLAP analysis and for reporting purposes. But before I go ahead, this presentation is brought to you by Prezi.com. I developed this presentation in Prezi and I think they really have a cool way of actually making nice presentations. So yeah, thanks to Prezi for that. Okay, so before I, so now let's continue. So now let's go ahead with the extended star schema information. So first up is the classic database schema. Normally for relational databases, you would have um, highly normalized tables where you would have um, information about where one table has information about a business object and then we reference the other objects by using foreign keys for example so in this case you would have the order table which references the customer table this will tell you which customer actually made the order and then we'll have a product table which tells you what product was actually been ordered and then and then for location info we had the country which is going to be referenced directly from the customer table. So we have basically like an ad hoc. So we have basically an ad hoc way of objects referencing themselves. Well, this is kind of okay if you have um, a transactional database where orders are coming in daily or or customer info is being updated on the fly. But then it's not very suitable for reporting because we will have to go through too many tables to actually get to the information which we want to pull out. So in the reporting or OLAP analysis world, we will, we have two things called facts and dimensions. So where the facts hold the information about your data. So basically sales figures, revenue, amount, quantity. And then we have dimensions which describes, basically describes these facts. So if, for example, if you want to describe sales figures, we have to tell you what product we are talking about or which country actually these sales figures actually come from. So they are more alphanumeric in nature. So if we now go ahead and say, okay, well, I want to explain how the classic star schema uses these facts and dimensions to explain how, uses the facts and dimensions to actually modify the transactional model to implement more efficient databases for reporting. So in this case, we would have a fact table in the middle and then dimensions which actually describes the facts in more detail around the fact table. So in this case, in the middle table, we'll have a fact table. That's the customer ID, product ID, and also the order ID, which actually explains, which are references to the information which we want to describe. And then around the fact table, we would have a dimension for the product table. And then this will have more information about the product. We would also have a dimension table for the customer and one for the orders, for example. So this is basically how this classic star schema would organize the information for reporting. So in this case, the fact table is in prominence. It's in the middle of the, of the boat, so to say. And then the information about the facts will come in second place. So SAP has actually extended this classic star schema for BI purposes, for business intelligence purposes. So in business intelligence, we have what we call, so to describe data, we have what we call master data. And this is in the sense of text attributes and hierarchies, where the text will describe information about the data, where the attributes will give more information or properties of what we want to describe. And hierarchies will actually give it in more greater detail or in the bigger picture where where the object which we are describing actually actually lies. So still we would have a fact table in the middle. 
which would hold the references to our dimensions and then to find out more information about the dimensions we would now have the dimension table but then the dimension table won't have information about the product but then it will have master data tables where we would have text tables attribute tables and hierarchy tables as well so for a product as an example the text table would have the name or the model name of the product the attributes could be the color the weight and all the properties that the product can have and the hierarchies will explain in what position our product offering actually comes from. So for example, if we offered printers as well as mobile phones, the hierarchies would show under what nodes our product is actually grouped under. And of course, we would have the same tables for the customer, which shows text, attributes, and hierarchies, and the order table as well. So that brings me to the end of my explanation of the BI Extended Star Schema. In this video, I've explained the structure of classic database schemas and the reasons why this transactional model is not suitable for reporting. And then the modifications that have been made to that using facts and dimensions using the classic star schema. And lastly, the improvements that SAP has made by introducing the extended star schema to incorporate master data in the form of text, attributes and hierarchies. Thank you for listening. And if you like this video, I want you to please do two things. Please leave a comment and tell me what kind of videos you would want to have or you would want to view about SAP Business Intelligence. And if you want more videos like this, you can subscribe to this channel. And also you can go to my blog at www.get-erp-training.com. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.